how to use the transformation layers in Calipeg. Calipeg is a traditional 2D animation pixel-based app, but you can also use transformation layers to add interpolation and keyframes, so you can mix traditional animation and interpolated keyframes animation. In that example here, everything is just a single drawing, and I added different types of movement. In this other shot, I have a flying car, and I wanted to cross the canvas. So I add a transformation layer with the diamond icon, and now my drawing layer is contained within a transformation layer. If you create a transformation layer, it will add your current layer or your selected layers. Here I'm on zero. I can scale my drawing. Here the pivot point is in the center of the canvas. I can select, hold one finger to put it in the center of my drawing. Then I put it outside. Transformation layers are the only type of layers which can have some elements outside of the canvas while still existing. If I hide, it's still here. It just modified when the transformation layer is enabled. I have my first keyframe. I go to the end. I slide. And then if I play, I have my animation. At any point, I can modify it on the canvas. It will add keyframes. Here, it will be X and Y positions. But if I go there, rotate, rotate again, it will create rotation keyframes. And the animation will be different. But in my situation, I go back to only have positions. But I could also do a scale here and in the end, scale it up. In your transformation layer, you can double tap and drag to select keyframes and move them. You can delete the keyframe. You can copy and paste keyframes. I delete that. And you can also decide of the type of curve. Here, I can have that type of curve. So there will be an ease in and ease out in the middle. And if you want to go to more advanced settings, you can tap here to access the curves menu. You can display a setting or another. Here I will hide position X, position Y, and only show scale X and Y, for example, or the opposite. You have a color code here, so I know that the red one is position X, and the blue is scale X. I can define values by dragging them or double tap and tap anything to change the value. I can zoom in, zoom up or down, select one keyframe with a tap, several keyframes with tap and tap drag, and then decide I want that kind of curve. So it will speed up at the end. You can also move the keyframes here. One finger hold and it will lock horizontally. Two fingers hold and it will lock vertically. You can also move the tangents. With a one finger hold, it will move one at a time. You can double tap to add a keyframe. Undo with two fingers. Redo with three fingers, like you would do on the canvas. Regarding rotation, here I will add a keyframe by tapping on the diamond. And here I will rotate it one time. It's a really strange movement here, but you can just do anything. And I can define it will be one time plus 25 degrees. And I could also select my two keyframes and add another type of curve. It's a bit too much here, so I will just delete. I select all my visible keyframes with that icon here and delete. You can also play with opacity. I add a keyframe here, and in the end, it will be zero. And now I see that my rotation is still here. So I put everything to zero, and I remove the keyframes of the rotation. So you can change position, scale, rotation, and opacity. And you can see here, 
the children layers. You can enter the curves mode or exit. You can hide or display the transformation. You can define the type of your pivot point here, which I will explain in a few minutes. And in the menu here, you can delete, copy, lock, unlock, select all the visible keyframes. And you can also go in the curve editor and activate all the needed frames so it appears here. You can duplicate your transformation layer with its content and it will make an empty transformation layer with the same keyframes. I will just delete it here. And you can also duplicate with the children. So you have the exact same transformation layer and the layers within it. You can close or open with a little dash. I will delete it here with or without the children. And in the menu, I can also flatten all the transformed layers. Here on tools, it will create a new drawing layer, hide the transformation layer, but it's still here if you need to work again on it. And now I have my transformation on two frames long sheets. Regarding the pivot points, I have a specific example here. I have three different layers with flowers in it. Within a transformation layer, you can see the link here to the children layers, and I added a complete rotation. By default, it will be applied on every layer, on a single pivot point here. So if I move my pivot point, my animation will also move. But I want my flowers to move on their own pivot point. So I tap here to use individual pivot points. And now it still doesn't work because I have to go in the curve editor and set the pivot point of each drawing layer. The first one, flower one, I take the pivot point, one finger hold, and I put it in the center. Same for flower 2 and flower 3. And now my flowers are moving on individual pivot points, which is very useful because you can just have different layers within a single transformation layer to create movements on every element. And that's how you can achieve that kind of animation because the wheels here or in a single transformation layer containing wheels and their colors in individual pivot points. And if I tap here, I can see that everything moves around that center. Last, we have the bar here. If that hand icon is enabled, you can zoom in and out with your fingers. If it's not, it will move your transformed layers. I prefer to go like that and use the pencil. You can go to the previous and next keyframes within your transformation. You can flip in a way or the other, and you can reset your transformation. So here it moved to its original position. And to have that kind of pattern, I created those keyframes and then I just have to select those two, copy and paste. And now the hat is moving up and down, but it's also contained in other transformation layers. That one, which contains the whole upper body, so it can move up and down. So you can add transformation layers within transformation layers to create complex movements. And for example, here, it's a complete mix between traditional 2D pose to pose animation and interpolations with keyframes. And you can manage the layers within the transformation layer with a long touch. You can drag it out of a transformation or drag it in again. I can hide the whole transformation, select it and exit from the other transformation layer. So you can really manipulate the layers as you wish. And when the transformation is active, you can still draw in your drawing sheets. If I go back to the hat, I can draw there. Even if the hat is here, originally. 